Good morning. Uh, I'm just going to do a Facebook Live now. Post the 3 3 session last night. I'll give people a moment or two to find the, find the video. So. So just um, give me a sec, I'm just adding it to a couple of groups. I'll be one second, guys. So welcome if you're joining the live. I'm just adding the Facebook feed to a couple of groups just so Hopefully we get a bit of uh, traction. P please feel free to share this one with your uh, with your own um, groups, with your own uh, pages. Blah blah blah. Get the energy out and about. So, uh, welcome, 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 one second. So, thank you for tuning in this morning while well, I just get this uh, promoted out there a little. Um, so, um, I just really wanted to say hello. Hello, Mel and Melissa. Uh, post the session last night. It was a very big day for me yesterday. Um, I guess putting out a video on YouTube with Michelle Fields. Many of you know her, beautiful angelic being. Uh, so really wanting it came into my energy field in the past month and wanting to really support uh, my work and getting out there... Um, a little bit further to those that wish to resonate with the energies that I bring through. So I really want to say much gratitude and many thanks for Michelle for uh, having me on her channel. Um, I'll post the link to the video in the, in this uh, feed. Um, it was really a bit of a, 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 a channeling from Lady Nada and a bit of a description about the work I do. Um, so very blessed and very um, grateful for Michelle and Spirit for hooking up um, the connection there, yeah? <laughs> hey, Terry. So I really wanted to hop on to, to say thank you um, for all your support. Uh, very grateful uh, for the support that you've given me on my journey so far. Uh, a little bit raw in my own heart this morning, a little bit vulnerable feeling the expansion that's coming for me uh, with my work, but also... Um, I think to to just bring in a bit of a re a re um, a rejig and 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 a should put up a down a bit of a, a a download of what came through last night in the three three session. So I don't think I've ever worked for an hour so strongly with the heart chakra before. I know that uh, I was saying in earlier channel, channel, channelings that I've done for about March, that it's all about the heart. And I was listening to some astrology um, the other day, and it was is basically aligning with the energies that I've been feeling, that we have really going through a deep heart purification and a deep heart expansion at this time. So the energies that came through last night, um, lots of, uh, it was the triple goddess transmission, so lots of feminine Energies, uh, Lady Nada, Mayor Magdalene, um, uh, Kuan Yin, uh, uh, a lot about bringing the heart into compassion for self, for other, for the collective. We went to Glastonbury um, and anchored some uh, energies through the grids there, the heart chakra of Mother Earth. So that, And there was a beautiful, powerful piece that I really wanted to comment on this morning um, around releasing a shield. So what came through from Spirit yesterday was... Um, releasing a shield that has been, I guess, protecting the heart space. And this shield came from the area of, um, I feel like it, it, each, each of us holds this a shield. 
yeah and 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 this heart shield was uh put in place uh in 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 all of us but it specifically in relation to the grids where we were born so i'm living in australia now but i was born in england so the shield that i had on my heart space i feel uh mirrored probably many that were born in the uk and and so it was it was sort of like an energetic uh, shield that we mm, kind of in, inherited from the grids of the earth where we were born at, through the matrix system when we came in. Um, and also this is tied into the, obviously the, the repetition, the family of origin um, energetics that we were born into. But I just wanted to, to say this because it felt really important around um, releasing this this layer or this e layer of energy around the heart space that is now ready to come off um you can tune into the 33 transmission you can purchase that if you want um just pm me but that's not the reason for me doing this this was just to really talk about this emerald shield that has been lifted now so that we can feel more and this is hey hey olga and this is really about uh, feeling more safe in relationship, uh, feeling more um, what's the word? Feeling more authentic. It's like uh, allowing a, a layer of energy to be removed, so there's not a gap between ourselves and other, and the earth really, but ourselves and other. So this this sort of this energy sort of comes from both the, the heart and the high heart space. And, um, you know, I think for many of us it has been protective. Many of us as it has felt um, kind of part of who we are. So this month we have been strongly invited to release our identity as separate, as, um, should we say, broken, mm. or... Um, or, or deficient in some way. So this is often a story that many of us hold, they're not good enough, blah, blah, blah. And this is really uh, time for us to release some of these uh, negative narratives of self. So negative ego mind, if you will, that has been blocking our energy field, especially around the heart and the high heart. And then later in the piece came in a, a very uh, beautiful, fortifying, transformative um uh, green fluorite um, butterfly transmission. And I, I think I'm going to do that now again uh, with you guys just as a bit of a, um, just as a little bit of a gift this morning um, to, to support you holding space, fortifying your energy field as we um, move into quite a, quite an intense month energetically, quite an intense month. You know, we've got the, uh, equinox on around the 2021st so this is this is just really powerful really really powerful and so if you're feeling a little confused disorganized or almost like you're pulling your hair out you're right on track <laughs> you're right on track right now because we've been invited to let go of places um you know places that are just so primal and so much um, play into the self-belief of who we are and of course it's not true is it really we are often much more than we believe we are often our soul knows that there is a stronger more powerful aspect of us coming through and 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 that our little mini me if you will our ego mind our kind of um I guess the place that wants us to stay the same for safety reasons growing up in, in maybe feeling unsafe or whatnot, then, you know, that kind of it wants to reassert itself right now. So that is the, the play, isn't it, that we're, we're dancing with. We're dancing with this, I, I would even say, sabotaging aspect that wants to pull us back into the known, into the safe place, into the, um, into the kind of... Um, the places that we've known and identify ourselves with for many, many years. And then there's also this new place coming forward, like a shoot coming out of, I feel like the solar plexus up through the heart, through the high heart, 
and out like a, a, a fountain of joy. Well, let's call it a fountain of joy coming up, you know, because many of us have not known joy or many of us have not felt safe to feel joy or many of us have had the narrative that joy isn't for me or I can squeak out a little bit here and there and go back into doom and gloom. I think what is coming is much more joy. You know, we're allowed to feel happy. We're allowed to feel good. We're allowed to feel content. And we're allowed to feel um, empowered by ourselves. Yeah? So this is what's happening. The heart is changing its mind in the collective, in the, in the individual. So I will bring through a little bit of energy uh, in the form of light language just to support, I guess, the 3-3 three, three energy that came through yesterday. So if you missed that, you can tune into this as a little bit of um, an adult, if you will. And this, this piece is the piece that came through yesterday. Uh, beautiful, beautiful green fluorite um, uh, butterfly uh, skull. So it's, it's just a divine, divine skull. And this one, very gentle green energy, very emerald, very light uh, green fluorite. And it's coming in like a dome or an egg or a, 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 a protective layer for fortification, yes? So if you've experienced... Um, that when your heart is opening or when your heart is letting go of armoring, that it becomes very scary, becomes very scary and a little bit dangerous. And you start to maybe get a little par paranoid and maybe even start to see things that aren't there and, see th and, and start to feel concerned about, the f about yourself. So this is, this is what we would call terror release. My goodness, <laughs> yeah. This is what we would call terror releasing from the heart, yeah? So if you have been a being that, um, you know, has had uh, fear of abandonment or has uh, terror sitting deep into the heart space, even if you're not sure why. Very, maybe it was even in your own story of birth this lifetime, that maybe it was even in your energy field of your mother when you were in the womb, that you inherited this, this very deep fear in the heart, that if you, if you expand into the world, something pretty traumatic is going to happen to you. So this is a fortification of your energy field and your heart auric field with the green fluorite. So this is to help you expand out of old places of ego that keep you in the same same so that you can make a different story for yourself and choose a different path now because the energies are saying to you this month, it's time for your heart to make a different decision. It's not about anything external right now. This is about your heart internally deciding that you're worth it. Yeah? Internally deciding that you're worth changing your structures, your minds, and letting go of the shielding that has protected you, but also kept you locked out of aspects of yourself in relationship. Okay? So just let this energy of a green dome or green mist come through your auric field now as a healing as a fortification for your heart as you go through this month of deep change, of deep heart awakening. Okay. <laughs> Just take a breath. And rest into the stillness, the peace of that energy, of that green fluorite vibration resonating in your auric field. It is here to allow stillness, allow grace to manifest in you as you go through this deep change process. Whether you purchase the 3-3 or not, doesn't matter. You can come back to this little uh, light language activation right here. Because this one, this month, can be used as much as you want to just stabilize your energy field in the heart and create peace, peace and grace for whatever is going on in your energy field. So whether it's something external process that, that has triggered you or it's some energy leaving that's triggering you, come back to this little two-minute transmission, yeah? Find it on my wall, use it as much as you like. It will help 
creates peace, stillness, and a fortification of emerald light. Yeah. So, um, what else? What else? What else? So there were three cards. Yeah, three cards I spoke of. Uh, I, I'm working with uh, this this little while the um, Rebecca Campbell, uh, the Rose Oracle. If you haven't seen these cards, uh, she's Aussie. Uh, they're beautiful. My God, they're beautiful cards. Just the imagery, the, the, the pink rose flame. Just a powerful, powerful set of cards for the Divine Feminine, Divine Mother. So I would really recommend that you check them out. Um, and they're not a bad price either. Hey? <laughs> so I got uh, three cards for today. Uh, Rapture. Uh, love, a devotion, romance, ecstasy, pleasure. Yeah. So I feel like this is uh, tying into this heart expansion. Yes. Uh, tying into this heart expansion. So when we feel safe in the heart space, to be ourselves, we can open up to more joy, sensuality, and and, and true love, true love for self. So rapture is coming to us today to say, you know, you've been doing the work. Here's a bit of a blessing. Here's some joy. Soak in it, marinate in it, and it's your time. It's your time to step up, yeah? So, uh, rose without thorns. Uh, you have the right to feel, to feel your joy, peace, sometimes sweetness in life. So again, just what I was channeling um, before in the, in the green fluorite um, uh, channeling dome, it feels like this is all about us Practicing the um, cultivation of joy and sweetness in our life this month. You know, if there's lots of people doing a lot of heart work and, and going through a lot of purge out density release, some of us have to hold the joy vibration and the sweetness of the process. So that's up to us, I feel. So um, just maintaining that energy, that, that awareness, that intention this month I will help will help you, I feel, keep on track. Yeah. And finally, uh, the child within. Uh, Inner mother innocence, gentleness, tenderness. And again, my mum is here from England at the moment, so divine timing, I feel. Um, and this piece is around, you know, being your own uh, mother, if you will. So being very kind and nurturing to yourself and being the mother that you wished you had maybe as a kid if you didn't feel you were getting what you needed as a kid. This is about... The inner child, really, isn't it? This is about the inner child. This is about loving your inner child as you let go of the fear and the armoring and, and the terror that has held you back in life, that has held you locked in the past, really. So this is about really holding your own integration of the inner child so that you may feel, um, hey Tristan, so that you may feel safe to move forward in relationship, in connection, in grace and ease, yeah. And finally, I'm just wanting to introduce and do a little bit of crystal pimping, as usual. Um, this beautiful uh, Amazonite uh, unicorn, I mean unicorn, um, rhino, yeah? He came in quite powerfully last night. Again, protection, courage on the path, um, uh, really showing up. Like, don't be afraid. So this is... Uh, also heart focused, the Amazonite. So if you feel to connect with this piece, uh, I did activate it last night in the three three portal. Uh, so blessed in that energy. Uh, you can message me privately, and um, uh, his name's Harry. Yeah. So just like Harry Styles, he's not afraid to be a little flamboyant, and a little bit go his own way. So I suggest you do the same today. I suggest you do the same this month. That you follow your heart, and that you. Um, uh, work with the fears and the energies that come up around stepping up and just um, breathe, know that the change is upon us and we are in it together. So thank you so much for tuning in to me today. Uh, please feel free to share this video, um, pass it around, uh, much love, I'll keep in, keep in touch. I do have private sessions available and I hope to get another live event out for the three um the uh, equinox uh, online in sunshine coast so take care or oh, just by the way for those that are in the sunny coast or in brizzy area i'm doing a meditation this afternoon as part of the um 
the Holistic Festival in Kiwana, uh, uh, Sunshine Coast. Um, I'll put the link below as well, 3.15 to 4 p.m. So thank you for tuning in. Catch you very soon. Much love. Bye for now.